What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Age of Empires Definitive Edition. We are here with mission number three in the Caesar campaign, the Siege of Alicia. Just when you think you have suppressed the Gauls in one place, they rise up in another. Despite our many campaigns, the Gauls seem determined to defy Roman rule. Even now, at Alessia, while we have surrounded their main army and leader Vercingetorix and are besieging their Apedum, they do not give up. Our messengers report that a gigantic Gallic army is approaching to relieve the siege of Alessia as we speak. With all of Gaul's warriors concentrated in one place, this battle will decide the fate of both Gaul and you, Caesar. Defeat the Gallic leader inside the settlement, and we might just crush the spirit of the Gauls. Fail, and we will be overrun by the masses of Gallic warriors gathering outside of our encampment. Alright, objectives kill the Gallic leader worse in Jedrix. If Caesar dies, this mission will be lost as always. Our workers have been constructing a two layered wall around the Opelum of Alicia. However, Gaul reinforcements have already arrived. Complete with fortifications as quickly as possible. Avoid a multi front siege from the enemy at all costs. This one is the important one, the second one. So, let's jump right into it. These guys. So, how do you avoid a multi front siege? Well, you take out the guys on the sides, they are here and here, quickly. And by quickly, I mean quickly. You kind of take them out as fast as possible. We are going to surpass these towers and we are going to attack their villagers. We raid them and we make sure they are dead. Because if you wait and you want to build up, it's going to become incredibly difficult. Because when you have red attacking from the middle, and at the same time, you will have these guys attacking from the outside, and these guys attacking from the outside, and it's going to be rough. And let's just say that's not something I want to deal with. More villagers down. And now we'll just quickly scout if there is anything more. I don't think there is. We will transfer these guys to wherever Red is attacking. Because we don't want Red to break through. Alright, so this is done. These guys will now move over here. And we'll try to attack yellow as quickly as possible. Why are you gathering wood? You probably should turn down the game speed a little bit. Just so you kind of can manage all these things at once. Not sure why exactly I insist on playing. Still on the fastest. Not the fastest, but I think the second fastest speed. Especially at the start of the mission. You kind of want to get things in order, but oh. Alright, so we arrived here with Caesar. And remember, Caesar must not die, but at the same time he has a lot of health, so... It's incredibly unlikely that Caesar dies. And we kind of have our army of legions also walking up here, but they are kind of taking their sweet time. They're not very fast, which is a bit of a problem. We are just building up our economy here and trying to make sure that these guys don't build up. And our reinforcements are arriving. Evil. 
Must make sure, however, that Caesar stays alive, so... Be a little bit careful about that. They are not that threatening after all, but... Again, be, just be careful. Alright, we now have... Need for some more housing. We'll just move these guys out of the fire a little bit, move Caesar out of the fire a little bit. And have Caesar raid the villagers. While these guys take down the town center and will now take down the towers quickly. Because the towers are annoying. Alright, we now take four of these guys and put them onto the gold. Alright. I think we are reaching the point where they won't be able to defend themselves very well. A couple more villagers. Again, just be careful that Caesar doesn't die and then you should be fine. Now we might get some more units out, and it's not that big of a deal, they aren't too powerful, so we can just get rid of them. Try to get rid of their military buildings here. And red is attacking on a different flank. Over here, try to fortify this wall a little bit. And I think our economy is pretty much set. We don't have enough wood, okay. Let's... Oh, we almost lost Caesar. I still manage to build up quite a bit. I wonder if I have villagers somewhere else where I don't see them. So yeah, be careful that you don't lose Caesar, that would be tragic. Obviously. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be, wouldn't be any good. Alright, so we now send a couple of units here. We will use long swords to defend. Just really make sure that Caesar doesn't die and that you keep red walled in. These guys will now wreak havoc a little bit. So we will wall this off. I'm surprised by how much we still got left. Um, a market is what I need to get some upgrades. And we're just sitting around. Okay. We'll now send our units forward. We'll just keep mass producing here. What we do want is a government center. Rogan? 
give or try it. And grab some more gold here. Just really make sure that Caesar doesn't die in some ill fated attempt. These guys will attack the towers. It's required for Centurion. I will get into Centurion later on. We're actually attacking quite heavily here now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move up here. I'm gonna move these guys up here. Because this is a little bit worrying. And we're not in a hurry to take them out because I think we got nothing left and I think yellow only had those units left that they attacked us with. So now it's all about defending from red. Which we are currently in the process of doing. Let's get inside these walls. We will have our fight right here now. And red is really the main enemy here right now because I think everyone else is dead. <laughs> Obviously Mercen Chatterix is also still an enemy, but he's kind of hiding behind red, so... Our main objective here is defeating Red. Now you stay somewhere safe. Kind of have to move a bit away from this. Catapult here. So these catapults are quite dangerous. Oh, I killed a house, that's not cool. Kill this and then they should be dead. This is slightly worrying, but not. Too bad. Where is the... Where is it? Yeah, well, I, it's not so bad. Okay, we've taken out the catapult, so that's good. And some of the Gallic army is dying already as well. Right, so what we are trying to do now is build up a little bit of a force to combat them with, because they are actually surprisingly strong. And we will move over here to this. And they love attacking our towers and I have no idea why they do that really. <laughs> I'm actually considering walling this off. Because 
Because they are quite annoying. Stop building stuff. Um, where do we have a villager? Just take a farmer. Fight! Come on, stop running away. This is quite annoying. I'll wait for catapults. Just make sure we hold that position. Tower up a little bit here. Anything else we want? We want reseeding. We want this. Don't need this because we won't actually go into Centurion right now. Actually send them straight up. What's missing? Wood. Come on, some wood. Thank you. Actually using the sky and wood as well. Ugh, need more wood. We kind of just pin them in now. This is where only... Well, this is also a point where we could get through, but... It's not the most important point in the world. There we go. Did we ever build a market? <laughs> Don't think we did. It's a shame, really. Market. So these guys are dead. Uh, we are going to go down here now and kill these guys. Really now it's just... Why is there still a stone thrower? Catapult. Oh, there it is. Not enough wood. Stupid farm receding all the time. Stop receding farms. We have enough food. Also need another house and make sure we don't clog up the pop space we need for the catapults. There you go. Go. Well, at least one. And we should be good to go then. Do we have... What is this? Siegecraft in the market. Well, we have a market now. And we can get Siegecraft. Wonderful. Lovely. wonder what that costs. Probably a lot. Catapult is soon finished. These guys are still on their way. Now for some reason I feel like we can't build a temple in this mission, which is a damn shame. So we can't actually heal Caesar, which means he's out of this mission for now. Eighteen hundred and nine hundred wood. Go get some wood. Dare use wood. It's actually quite a few people. It's kind of funny that we're breaking through up there because it's there's like nothing there. No idea what we want here. And the Skalic army has been defeated as well. Good. 
Alright. Let's just charge on okay. See if it works. We'll now shoot at the heavy horse archers and attack around here. I said attack round. And form a wall for that catapult. Actually, fuck it, we just get rid of the wall and move in. There's worse than Jedrix. And we've won the mission. And Caesar is safe. With the you can wall him in. And the Gauls, you have brought Pure almost scared. nine years of constant fighting to a close. All of Gaul has been added to the Roman Empire, and according to some sources, millions of enemies have died in the process. The very name Caesar will become synonymous with leadership. Such success is not without its price, however. Jealous of your success and celebrity, and concerned about the size of our army, enemies in Rome have started to plot against you. On top of that, the triumvirate with Crassus and Pompey has come to a sudden end when Crassus died in battle against the Parthians, which means it is once again each man for himself. With Western Europe at your feet, it is time to return home and deal with your old friend and former ally, Pompey. So I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you can do this as well, and until next time, farewell.